So one of my followers sent me a question and asked me something I think is very important to answer. And that is, how do I maintain a healthy lifestyle while being so into whiskey? I think it's a great question and I think it, it uh, demands an answer. And I'm gonna answer it for you. I'm Conrad, this is Whiskey Bonded. Let's talk about it. Let's pour a little bit of Four Roses single barrel while we talk about it. So the question was, he was getting into whiskey and he wanted to know, how do I do this and have so much whiskey time and content in and, and, and enjoy whiskey without it becoming something that is a detriment to my health? Because if you look online, you're gonna find a lot of mixed information about alcohol consumption and what's good for you. Well, the short answer is, the, there's probably best to have zero alcohol uh, consumption, right? I mean, how many McDonald's french fries will hurt you? One, no. Is zero better than one? Yes, but it's not realistic to think that you're not going to have some sort of a vice or enjoy some sort of a thing that is not that great for you, right? So I don't think zero alcohol is the answer, and it certainly isn't for me. There's some evidence that, that, that suggests that small amounts of alcohol are actually good for you, but we don't know any of that definitively, so here's the way that I look at it. I enjoy alcohol. It helps me relax. It reduces stress. And it's a hobby that I really, really enjoy. So I do it quite a bit. But I do not drink large volumes of alcohol at any real given time. Uh, I will typically consume uh, an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half. And I'll do that three or four days of the week. Now, if I'm doing tasting and stuff, I might try a little bit more than that, but I do often use a water and spit cup if I'm going to do a lot of tasting so that I don't consume a whole heck of a lot. It's very rare, maybe once a month or twice a month that I will drink more than that because I'm with friends or at dinner or we're on vacation or something like that. Now, it, I want you guys to know that I balance that out. I, I spend a lot of time balancing it out. You guys have seen my hydrogen water bottle. Uh, on some of my lives, I drink a lot of water. Um, I take a lot of vitamins. I do exercise. I eat healthy. I get plenty of sleep. Um, I think that's what's important. I think you have to find a balance. And obviously, for everybody, it's different. Uh, you know, you may be capable of consuming larger volumes of alcohol and it never having an effect on you, but there's no real way to know that. So I think that, like a lot of other things in life, it's important to find a balance. So what I would say is, is if you're going to get into whiskey or you are into whiskey, it's going to be important for you to try and come up with a set of rules or habits that allow you to balance the passion for distilled spirits uh, with all the other things that you got to do. Because let's be honest, we can't all just sit around and do nothing but drink whiskey all day long, as tempting as that sounds. Uh, I wish there was a way to do that without it having any ill effects. I would absolutely do that all day long, but not realistic. So for me, that's what it's about. I think you can have that vice. I also want to make sure that I point out that I don't have uh, really any other vices. I don't smoke. Um, I don't consume much sugar at all, which I would argue is worse for you than alcohol. You know, I don't eat a lot of fast food. Uh, so I choose to forego a lot of those other vices in order to be able to enjoy the thing that I really like the most, which is obviously, if you've been following me at all, whiskey. So there you go. I hope that helps. I hope that answers the question. If you have other questions for me, please feel free to always answer them. Please share your thoughts on this. Uh, what do you do in the comments? I want to know what it is that you do to balance it out. Uh, if you do balance it out, hopefully you balance it out. Um, I am definitely not a proponent of excessive drinking. I don't think you should do that. I think too much drinking is definitely bad for your health. And uh, why would you want to shorten the lifespan that you have to be able to continue to enjoy whiskey? So there you go. I'm Conrad. This is Whiskey Bonded. Please like, follow, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon and the Swag Shop. I'll put some links in the bio. I'll put a link in my bio to my water bottle, my island water bottle that I like, and the Swag Shop and all those other things. Check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and Facebook, and re Threads, I think is what it's called now, Threads. Anyway, thanks for coming by. I appreciate everybody that follows, and uh, we'll see you for the next one. This Four Roses Single Bros is good. You should check that one out. Hmm. I think it just won an award. It did win an award. I know what it won, but that's a different video. Thanks for coming.